I love it when the meme get woke, go broke ends up being very real. And of course, we've seen over these last few years that memes just become reality. And this is going to be a gloat fest. I've got the Schadenfreude up the wazoo this morning, and it's just absolutely beautiful to watch. My friends, we are winning because we have truth, light, and beauty on our side, and the SJWs are going down in flames. All right. My name is John Delarose. I am a number one best-selling author, award-winning comic creator. I've got a subscribe star up right now. We just got our 19th subscriber yesterday. And I've put up a brand new novel for everybody. Before it gets released anywhere else, you get to read it here. And I've got my Overmind comic, the first issue of that, on Subscribestar. So if you want access to this and new stuff, this is the place to go. You got to support content creators who are doing something different, who are actually fighting the mainstream media. And I appreciate all you guys who do so. You've been amazing so far. We've had the best year ever, and it's going to get even better. And it starts right here, everybody. Breaking Florida Senate passes legislation ending Dizzy's tax privilege and self governing power and special exemption status. Always, these states, these red states, what they've done over the last gosh, couple decades was incentivize companies to come to their states, to put their headquarters in their states, etc., cetera, uh, by having these amazing tax laws. So of course, New York and California have the worst taxes ever. You know, you can make an extra 10% just by moving to Florida or moving to Tennessee. And that's exactly what a lot of these companies have done. Now, Disney has had a longstanding relationship with Florida, with Disney World, and a lot of filming and a lot of other stuff going on over there. And they've had a lot of special tax privileges. Until recently, we know what Disney did. They stood up for grooming. They tried to shame Florida over uh, not wanting to teach sex to little children in kindergarten, second grade, first grade. They wanted to shame Florida for having normal family values. And they wanted to push this crazy LGBTQ grooming agenda where they're trying to get kids on hormones, trying to get kids doing awful things, because this is exactly what the satanic Hollywood elite want. Well, Florida fought back, and Florida said, you know what? If you're going to harass us over this, if you're going to move your filming away from us and start putting uh, homosexuality into little kids' cartoons, uh, we're not going to support that. We're not going to give you special tax-exempt status, special self-governing status, anymore, we're going to take that away. And we're going to uh, just treat you like a normal company. And you don't get anything special anymore. So you're done. And uh, it's resonated big time. So this has been a big deal. And it's it's really hurting ever since Disney took this stance, you see this morning, they're already down another 1% this morning, this is one day. Gosh, I would have uh, shorted them yesterday it would have been great. Look at the five day trends, they're down 7.6%. Oh my gosh, look at this steep drop off uh, as they went woke. Look at this drop off as again, as their tax exempt status uh, goes away and dwindles and gets hit and you go back to the month, 11% Disney has dropped in their value because they have a product, these freaking idiots, these SJWs, that is meant to be family entertainment. Disney's whole brand forever, and Walt Disney's vision was clean family entertainment. Walt Disney's vision was wholesome American families. Walt Disney's vision was anti-communist. Walt Disney's vision was for wonderful things for children. And these corporate assholes have ruined that and destroyed it in a couple of years because they want to push their radical left agendas that are destroying everything. Everything in our culture. And this is what they get. It's just going to keep going down. They'll 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 find that they're going to have a 20% drop is what's going to happen. Because you know what? Families aren't going to put up with this. Nobody's going to go see gay Buzz Lightyear. Nobody's going to go see uh, gay Thor, female Thor, you know, King Valkyrie. Nobody wants to see that stuff. People just want their children to be able to have a nice movie to watch, you know, like the old stuff, like car. I mean, cars was great till they ruined it. <sighs> it's just, uh, it's just tragic to watch. But I'm happy. The more that Disney fails, the more that these properties get destroyed. Honestly, the more there is room for quality vision and quality independent entertainment. And gosh, as we grow, maybe one day we'll get to do film. Maybe one day we'll get to do something 
uh, where our properties are what shines and gets out there uh, because nobody wants this stuff for sure. All right. I'm very happy today. Let me know what you think about this. Hit that like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon.